Hey guys, Nels here with another episode of Sled Tech, a new series where we're going deep on all the details on Polaris snowmobiles. Today, we got the flagship snowmobile engine with us, the Patriot Boost. So today we're talking about Patriot Boost, and before we start talking about Boost, we gotta go back to the Patriot engine family itself. The 850 was our first engine in the Patriot family, but when we built the 850, it wasn't just about building the one engine, it was about building a family of engines. And the 850 was designed for boost from day one. Back in 2015, when we started the 850 program, the turbocharger was written right there on the whiteboard. What that means is that the 850 is really bulletproof and ready for boost right away. There are only two changes to accommodate for boost, and that's a slightly revised piston, and then the secondary uh, auxiliary fuel injection system. Otherwise, that's it. The 850 that serves as the base engine for Patriot Boost is just like the 850 NA. Rock solid durability, uh, low inertia, and ready for boost. Before we start talking about all the details on Patriot Boost, we gotta talk about the problem we had to go and solve when we built the engine. So turbocharged two-strokes have been around for a long time, and they all fight the same fundamental problem, and that's combustion stability. When you start to push a two-stroke engine really hard, especially in a turbocharged application, the combustion can get relatively unstable. What that results in is detonation or, or bogs, neither of which we want. Especially in the turbocharged application, it starts to build a lot of pipe pressure. The, the pressure in the tune pipe gets incredibly high. When that happens, that pressure actually starts to flow back into the combustion chamber. That builds that uh, instable, unstable combustion that we don't want. There are a few ways to get around that race fuel, water injection, or some other band-aid like that, but we weren't gonna do that. We needed 91 pump gas that worked perfectly every single day. So, we developed Smart Boost. Now, what Smart Boost is, is it's focused around this external wastegate right here. So, typically, in a typical tu turbocharger, the wastegate's on the back end of the turbo housing. So what that means is all the air flows to the turbo, and then whatever air isn't needed goes through the wastegate after. Well, we were still unable to control the pipe the way we wanted to with that setup. So we built a totally patented uh, wastegate system where it's actually up on the tune pipe. Now what that lets us do is control the pipe pressure before the air gets to the turbo. What that means is we're able to keep it lower, build that combustion stability, and that's what makes the consistency in the power. It runs on 91 octane, no gimmicks, every single day, makes 10% more power at sea level, so it's not just altitude compensating, puts three pounds of boost down at, at, at sea level and makes 10% more power, and then is able to run all the way up to nine pounds of, of boost pressure up at high elevation, up to 10,000 feet. All of that is due to the combustion stability that's delivered with the Smart Boost system. So next we're gonna talk about control. Now, turbos make power, we all love power. We talked about some of the stability that, that gets us there, but control is really what makes it work, especially out on the mountain and on the trail. When we say control, we're talking about a mix of response and hitting the right power levels and really making it super easy to ride. Part of the Smart Boost system is hitting the exact right level of power every single time. Some of the control things with controlling the pipe pressure, what it allows is every time you hit the throttle and the engine asks for a certain amount of boost and a certain amount of power and fuel, it hits it perfectly every single time. On the hill, that means repeatability, predictability, and something that's easy to ride, no matter the weather, no matter the conditions, et cetera. To develop this, we spent a lot of time on the hill climb course. Um, Boost won a lot of races for quite a few years before we ever offered it to, to customers. And the demands of Rimshaw and how precise you have to be to make it through a Rimshaw course and win is part of what built the, the control system that we have today. Um, Keith and Andy have won a lot of races on this engine here in, in various forms over the years. The biggest way that the control happens is a mix of smart boost and then how fast the system responds. Like I said, when you're on the hill, it has to respond instantly. If there's any lag or anything that's lazy or you hit the throttle one time and it is a little lazy and the next time it makes full jam and starts going, it's just impossible to ride. So how do we get there? The first piece is the turbocharger. So this turbocharger looks nothing like any off the shelf snowmobile turbocharger you've ever seen. It's very unique, very patented, built by, by us at Polaris. A few things that make it work. It's vertical orientation, so it packages really nicely. It's really small, it's tucked into the center mass of the vehicle. And what it has is a really short path into the boost box. There's not a big long tube that has gotta fill with boosted air, it's a really quick immediate path. Turbo's got a tiny center section, so it's a really compact turbo design. What that means is that it's actually lighter and, and lower inertia. The shaft in between them is shorter, it weighs less and spins up faster, all building into that response. 
When we come over here to the boost box, there's a few other items uh, over here. The first is actually underneath this boost box here that you can't really see, but that's our throttle body injection system. So this uh, boost engine has four injectors, two traditional SDI injectors, and then two more on the throttle body. Uh, and that was actually developed through our Snowcross engine. Uh, we launched our Snowcross engine, some updates a few years before this, featuring that throttle body injection system. You want to talk about response and control Snowcross is a lot like hill climb in that it has to be immediate. We developed that through here and then we're able to bring it onto the, the boost platform uh, to help with that control and response, like I mentioned. The last piece here is this, uh, the boost box with the intake read in it. So no matter what you do, a boosted engine still has to make boost before it can make power. That, that's just how it works. We weren't going to accept that compromise of turbo lag, so this has the response of more like an NA engine combined with turbo power. Now how that works is this boost box here gets pressurized by the turbocharger with the air, right? So the exhaust comes out, it spins the turbo, compresses the air, fills the boost box with, with boosted air, and then feeds the engine. Well, that takes time. Like we talked about, when you're on the hill or coming out of a corner on the trail, you don't want to take time to make power, you want it right now. So this is a big reed. It's a giant reed valve, like you'd have in the engine, just a little bit bigger. And what it is, is it's straight into the boost box, right to open air. So when you hit the throttle from like a dead stop, the boost box is actually in vacuum. It doesn't make, it's not pressurized with boost yet. What happens is the reed valve just opens, air flows in, starts to feed the engine, and then as the turbocharger spools up and starts to make power, the reed valve just closes. As simple as that. It's super light and it works the same every single time. There's not electronic controls or anything else like that to, to manage. When you put all of that together, you get the power and the response that we were looking for. Like I said, we weren't gonna take compromises that come with turbo engines because it makes the ride on the hill worse and it makes the ride on the trail worse. So what we have here is more power at sea level all the way up to 10,000 feet and above power that's won a lot of rimshaw races and won a lot of buddy races up the hill. With the control and response that you've come to expect from Polaris snowmobile engines. Our engines respond faster and are easier to control than anybody else's. And the 23 patents and, and way more filings that are all over this engine are what make it happen. So the Patriot Boost engine is available in quite a few of our matrix platform models. The first is RMK, which it launched in first. And that was the big, the big application that we were chasing for sure. Um, I said turbochargers have been around in the aftermarket for a long time. We knew we could do it better. And with the elevation challenges that most of our mountain riders experience, they're always looking for more power and boost is an awesome way to do that. The other two sleds that they're available in is trail and crossover. And we were the first ones to ever put a, a turbocharged two stroke in our trail and crossover sleds. And there were a few things that, that made us do that, that made us want to do that and knew that we had something that was better than anybody else. The first is the, the power at sea level, like from the combustion stability that I talked about. We're making 10% more power than an 850 at sea level. And delivering that power to most of our trail customers that ride at sea level or right around there was huge. Now in a trail and crossover sled, a naturally aspirated engine hits a wall at higher speeds. And it's due to the, the pipe challenges that we talked about a little bit earlier. When a naturally aspirated engine's pumping that hard, trying to go that fast, it hits a wall where it can't manage the pipe pressure anymore and it really sl acceleration slows down. What boost is able to do in those sleds is it blows right through that wall. Due to the smart boost system and the way we do our turbocharging where it's able to manage the pipe pressures and then build a ton of boost and make a ton of power, the all out speed of these turbocharged two strokes combined with how light they are in a trail sled just can't be beat. That's it for today's episode of Sled Tech, talking about the most powerful snowmobile engine we've ever built, the Patriot Boost. Tune in next time to see what we got coming up.